man, look at all this work. I've been on a journey through time from approximately two to three clips ago to now. It's been several weeks. And uh, I got a ton of stuff done, as you can see, framing, floor leveler, framed up the wall for the oven. Well, it's been a process here, guys. And uh, the next steps are to get the flooring boards inside, get them acclimated. That's going to take about a week. Uh, cabinets are coming, so that's pretty cool. You know, cabinets, everyone loves those. Uh, that is all the boards inside, guys. In about a week, they should be acclimated. There's a heater, radiator thing, puts out heat. Over by that end of the kitchen, so hopefully the ends don't split too bad. I probably should have brought these in like a month ago and really gave them time to acclimate. But they do it pretty fast. Pine's pretty pretty quick with this stuff. So in about a week, I can start putting it down. Fortunately, I gotta wait till then, but I think it'll be okay. I think we'll be fine. Now, I know, I know, I'm jumping around this video and there's so many little projects to do. I gotta, I gotta keep jumping around. I gotta keep trying stuff. And uh, I know what you're thinking, what is this? Well, I'll give you a couple seconds to guess. Take a look at it, it's long, it's flat, it's wood. You're right, Tony, it's, it's a bowling alley. We got a bowling alley for our countertop. Me and Zach went down to Vermont, and then from Vermont to New York, and we were able to get a couple bowling alleys. But he's got some for his catch and cook kitchen. For most of you who don't, don't know, they use maple for the first like 18 feet of these. And then from there onwards, they use finger jointed pine that fits in because no one's gonna throw a bowling ball 18 feet through the air and because pine will dent. Now, this has taken a lot of abuse and it does have dents in it, but it holds up a lot better. So there is nowhere on the planet that I can get 17 foot of butcher block in one straight line so we are going to use this sand it down and we've got these really cool inlays that are like i think they're mahogany or they're black walnut they're really cool so this is like a one of a kind at least for me you know there's other people who have done this one of a kind countertop it's really cool to do that we got to cut it down and i'm going to stop talking about it it's a messy nerve-wracking crazy thing and uh yeah We'll get it done. nail through, huh? I might have to nail through that by hand. We're gonna take these nails and put them a little close to the end. Now this end is underneath a fridge and underneath. So I don't need to go all the way in. This is where the pantry goes. So what we do need to do is we need to mark out where the rest of our marks go. So yeah, that's the first flooring board down. Not super concerned about the lines, uh, especially considering we're gonna be sanding all of this afterwards. What I'm really concerned about is transferring them through the room, so making some good marks on this one. And when we continue this way, we'll be able to take those marks and just chalk line them and transfer them to the other side. But try not to go, I try to go about an inch in from the ends. And that's it. One full course, done. Anyways guys, that's it, that's done. That's my first row. Uh, now I gotta decide if I go this way, and if I do, I have to move a bunch of hoses and junk if i move this way i gotta move the whole pile of wood so kind of gotta make that decision now uh i'm gonna do one more run right here just, to just so i have a knowledge of where my splits are going to be because on um, now that i did a 16 and what it amounts here to a six foot in the pantry it'll be an eight foot 
I will need to do a 16 then an 8 on that side. So, yeah, I'm going to get that done. That way I have my, where all of my lines are going to be that I can transfer through the pantry and I can transfer through the rest of the kitchen. And then we'll really make some decisions on where we're going from there. Man, that works great. You get yourself a shim and a block, you screw it in, you nail the hell out of it once you got it where you want. Man, that works good. It's coming out pretty good. There's going to be spots where there's knots and cracks, but you know, that's why I picked this. I wanted something that looked natural, old, beautiful. This is going to get dinged up and smashed up. I think I'm just going to keep going because I am seeing that the more I do here, the more I'm ripping up the tar paper. So I'm going to get the tar paper covered and that way we'll be done. So I'm going to start with a small piece here and then another 16. And I think I might have enough for one more, maybe two. Then we'll have a good base that if I have to move the flooring boards over, I can do that. Keep going. Well, guys, it only took me three years, but I got three rows down. Uh, not too bad, not too bad. Uh, now I can always move the boards over if I have to. Unfortunately, it won't really give me a lot of room to kind of stack them. So I'm thinking what I'm going to do is I am going to move this way into the pantry. I'm realizing, though, that we basically have like a ton of floor leveler over there. Yeah, as it is with all this floor leveler over here, guys, it really does not like to be nailed. Here is a section where I put a nail through it and it's it did this on its own, guys. It just hit it and curved it. Now, uh, there's a place over here where I did put a nail when the stuff was fresh and it just went right through it. It's just like butter. But uh, now that it's had time to cure fully, I don't think that's the case. Now, I really wish I had just put the flooring down, but you know, even if I had waited a week from it being fresh, it might have already been cured fully. Now it's really cured, so I know it's not gonna crumble away, which is great. And all I really gotta do is in those areas, I just gotta pre-drill it and uh, put a screw through, and that's really not too bad. Um, it, it's gonna work, and I know that since it's only like a half inch thick, deck screws will hold it. And since all these are being sunk down in pretty far, even if we're sanding it, I don't think it's anything to worry about. You're not even gonna see it, it'll be great. Plus, I already did something over here where I drilled a bunch of put a bunch of nails in where a place where the seam goes. So you're not even supposed to have nails there, but that's what floor filler is for. So I'm gonna floor fill some of the ones that I don't want people to see. Tar paper is down as my underlayment. We're all ready to go. Now, what we had done was we had made it so the seam was right here, which is actually the dead center of the hallway. I like that, but it's gonna work out here. So as you look down the hallway, you'll see the seam running into the kitchen. But since we're now into an area that's not as wide, I'm going to avoid the seam and do full pieces. Now, some people might say, no, stick to it all the same. But really, with pine and all the movement, we want to stick to as minimal butt joints as we can. So in the kitchen, it's unavoidable. Unavoidable. We got to do the butt joints. Butt joints are very important in the kitchen. Got to. Got to have them. In here, though, it's 10 foot. So we're going to cut all the boards. Another thing is, I can cut the boards in batches, as long as I check it in a couple places. We just throw them in really fast. We gotta do our chalk lines. Now that we got enough, I'm gonna transfer these lines all the way to the other side. My wife's gonna give me a hand. And then we're going to be able to just pound this out like crazy. Kitchen won't be as easy because we've got a lot of floor leveler in there that we're gonna have to drill through. Same thing in this corner, but I'm hoping, since I have a hand, a little quicker, but we're gonna get to work. Oh, oh, I forgot how flooring kills your knees. I'm getting old.
another morning, another day, and this ugly bright light I got going on here. It really does nothing for my skin this morning. It's not a good look, but regardless, we got our tools, we're getting ready to go. Hopefully today, I can have a floor in my kitchen. Well, floor is done. There is a patch here that I don't have in, and the reason it's not in is because it's a little longer than I would like to cut out of a full piece, and I know doing the floor in the main kitchen, I'm gonna have some pieces that, that really need to be, have the edges cut off, and I figure this is gonna be under cabinets. So there's no real reason for me to actually mess with it right now. So we're gonna continue on the main floor, and then, yeah, friends, Family, acquaintances of all ages, today I make this statement. I stand upon the battlegrounds and the lines have been drawn in blue chalk before you. I swear unto thee, this floor shall be down today or hell hath no fury like my scorn. That's good. That's good. That sounds, sounds pretty good. I don't know, I've listened to a lot of old books. They have a flair for the dramatic. Anyways, guys, we gotta get this floor down. I'm uh, I'm pretty sick of it. My hip is killing me. I'm 28 and I, my hip is hurting. So you know how hard flooring is on the body. It's whooping me. It is, oh, I'm in pain. So let's get this thing done. The lines are drawn, not the battle lines, but the chalk lines, they're on the floor. And uh, we're gonna get this done. Let's get to it. The floors are done. Well, they're down. They got They're gonna have to be filled in certain areas and sanded. Uh, I don't need to be perfect. I just want like the really big gaps and cracks filled. And also, I want to see the nail holes. But there's a couple spots where like I had to add an extra screw. I wanted to seem consistent, so I'm gonna fill those holes in. But I did realize something though. There's a dip right there that I've been cursing myself for not filling in with the floor leveler. And I realized something though, uh, that's right where, down in the basement, there's like no support beams in the center of this addition, because this is all addition, right? Well, uh, all I gotta do is just go down there and add one eventually, and I think that dip will be gone. I think it will be fixed. I don't think I'm ever gonna get rid of the remainder of the hump, but, that I'm glad of. I think I think that will just need to be a little tweaking maybe in the summertime where, you know, it's okay to be down there. But I even filled in this hole over here. Looks so much better over here, having this all completed, uh, even with it being, you know, not finished in here. So the next step is I'm gonna try to throw in the two uh, piece of drywall where the hall are going to be and doing that I got to add some strapping I got to finish up my plumbing which is just that fern co I got to put in and then uh, yeah we're going to be good to go to start uh, doing all the rest of the studying and then drywall just drywall 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 so we're going to get it done 